at all. So Najin can itemize very efficiently, and if they can make the late game, they really shouldn't have too much of a problem just rolling over SK Telecom. Yep. So it's all about the er the mid-game siege for SKT. Well, it's bound to be an interesting one either way, guys. SKT looking for the 2-0 with a mid Varus. Let's see if they can do it. It's time to get in the game. Lane is wonderful. Yep, that's really annoying. <laughs> it's not the most fun to watch either. I wonder if he's going to go for right score. Oh, here we go. Alt on Nagoon. He is not making it out. First blood goes to Tom. For SKT. They've got that pressure down in bot lane. And Faker able to get a decent amount of damage on that mid lane turret now. With yeah, Paris. he has to, though, is the thing. He absolutely has to. Whoa, Warren is going to get tossed back into the tower right there. Yeah, wow, no that's a deal. lot of turret shots, actually. Oh, jeez. Oh, Marin. Flash. Oh, man. And Duke gets a 1v1. <laughs> All right, so SK Telecom going to go for their first dragon right here. Just taking it very fast. Yep. Easy. Early dragon shouldn't be a problem at all. Marin. Elongate this laning phase if they can. Oh, there we go. Faker with the alt on the Goon. Can he win the 1v1? Faker whimsy taking a lot of damage. There's a wild growth. Goon's got this one. And Goon. Wins a 1v1 against Faker. I mean, he has Ignite. Risky. Duke says he's in a good place with his Gnar bar, though. Yeah, that's right. He'll become Mega Gnar in just a moment here. A little bit of poke coming in for Faker. Can Tom steal this dragon? Yes, he can. He gets it. Pure going very low as well. Now Faker getting a huge ult onto the enemy team. A big ult comes in from Tom as well. And SKT finds exactly the fight they were looking for. OQ over the wall comes bang for another one. Faker gets the kill anyway. And now Duke and Pure. Goong as well in a lot of trouble under turret. Faker poking so hard with those arrows. Gets crap though. Everybody all in onto Faker. But Bang gets a kill anyway. Faker's still getting away. Goong taken down by Wolf. A bit of bloodthirsty support action there. And Duke the last man standing. But perhaps not for long. We'll see if he can get himself executed on a turret. Nope. Nope. Not going to happen. Oh. Right into Wolf. Come on. Double kill for the support. Feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Najin might try this here, though. Baron going down very, very quickly. Faker just zoning with that hail of arrows. A lot of damage onto Pure. Watch comes in. Baron's still a bit low. Watch takes the lantern out again. Alt gets used. Doesn't really connect too much with anybody. Baron taken by SKT. And do they pursue for the fight? There's the culling. They get the kill onto Duke. And I think SKT can be pretty satisfied with just that. Completely unopposed. And it's got to feel bad if you're not just you had the game right where you wanted it, and then you just gave it away. Pretty easily, too, but no, take a big chunk out of Pure instead. SKT just sort of having a bit of a vacation. And just, there we go, the ultimate onto Pure. Faker going to be able to maybe get a kill there. Wild Girl saves him, but Tom comes in with the big Sejuani ult. And now SKT, they've got the ults. They've got the double kill onto Varus, and they've got everything he needs. Make that a triple kill. Wow. Duke just barely living through that one, and that is it. A 2-0 for SK Telecom, and Faker bringing the Varus in the mid lane and bringing the pain. That is it. GG. That last team fight was so beautifully played. And one thing you can say about SK Telecom is they're really good at that varus Sejuani synergy. Because oh, yeah. Tom's chaining of the Glacial Prison after the Chain of Corruption hit was really beautiful right there. Yeah, just letting the veteran, letting Faker decide, you know, when the best time to start the engage would be, and then after the chains are done, then...